Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Simprosis. In this video, we are going to see the difference between price, sale price, and compare at price terminology of Shopify, our app, Google Merchant Center, and Google Ads account. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing, and press the bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Let us see what is the importance of price, and compare at price, in Shopify. Price is the actual value or amount on which the merchant wants his products to be sold. Compare at price is the amount or value that the merchant wants his consumers to see as the original price, wherein merchant can show discount for that particular product. For example, suppose you are selling a product at $179.95 in the sale, and the actual price was $269.95, then, $179.95 is selling price, and $269.95 is compare at price. Price and sale price, in our app, Google Merchant Center, and, Google AdWords account. Here, sale price is the actual value or amount that the merchant wants his products to be sold. The price will be the amount or value that the merchant wants his consumers to see as the original price. Now, in this case, $179.95 will be sale price, and $269.95 will be the display price, which is denoted as price in Google Merchant Center, and Google Ads account. Now let's have a look at the actual scenarios. Many times, you might have got confused with the display of the price of your store in the list page of Merchant Center, and preview page of product ad in Google Ads account. Wondering why is Google showing the compare at price, and the not the, sale price in the Merchant Center list page, and, Google AdWords preview page. But, let us clarify here, that Google will always show, sale price, that is the actual price of a product in your Shopify store, and, not compare at price, whenever Google shows final ad results to your customers. Let me explain this in detail. Kindly, go through the entire video till the end to take the benefit of, sale price feature of Google and our app. Else, you can go to, Google Sync Settings page, in the app, and disable this feature to keep it simple, and straight. Now let us see the sale price feature of Google and our app in detail. In Shopify for pricing, you get two options which are price and compare at price. Same way in Google there are two attributes to submit for pricing, which are sale price and price. Now, our app works according to Google attributes. If you have both compare at price and price for any product in the Shopify, plus this feature of sale price is enabled in our app, our app will work with both compare at price and price of Shopify at the same time. Price and sale price of Google. Here is how it is going to work. Let's understand this in detail. For example, if you are submitting both price and compare at price in Shopify. The price of product which is $179.95 will shown as sale price in our app product page. And in the product page of Google Merchant Center. Compare at price of Shopify which is $296.95 will be shown as price on the product page of our app and Google Merchant Center. Now, let's take another example wherein you have submitted the only price in Shopify. Then it will show only price in our app and price in Google Merchant Center. When you have both compare at price and price in the Shopify and you have not enabled this checkbox of enable sale price in our app's Google Sync settings page, then our app will submit only sale price as price and not the compare at price. Please note, if you have compare at price lesser than price for any product in Shopify, then our app will ignore compare at price and will submit your store's price as the price to Google. For example, in this case, our app will ignore $200 which is compare at price and submit $385 as the product price to Google Merchant Center. In order for your ad to show with sale price annotations, you need to meet certain requirements. The base price must have been charged for a period of at least 30 consecutive days in the past 180 days. The base price must be valid. 
The sale price must be lower than the base price or compare at price. The discount of the sale must be greater than 5% and less than 90%. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. Please refer to our other related help videos. See you again in another video.